The Cookbook from The Memoirs of an Olive Tree by E.B. Vargas. Delicious food helps make happy memories. There's the big turkey at Thanksgiving, and then there's the hot chewy cheese pizza after the game. But what if your whole future depended on preparing a delicious meal? Ollie the olive tree remembers a certain chef making just such a meal. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. Matthew 5.17 NIV Theirs are the human ancestry of Jesus. The book was old and dusty, so worn, so frail. How many hands had opened its pages? The book seemed to reach back even before time began. The chef had found it among the possessions of a great adventurer from times gone by. It was said the adventurer claimed to have gotten it from one who had prepared meals for the king of all the stars himself. Well, the chef's restaurant, Ollie's Olives, was failing. His customers complained his recipes had grown boring and tasteless. Even the city threatened to kick him out of his building and replace the restaurant with a dentist office. It was time for desperate measures. The chef lifted the book off the shelf from where it had rested for ages. He carefully opened to the first page. He read, This book has many side dishes that are delicious and nutritious. Many have tasted them, but... Concerning the main course, prepare it if you dare. Gulp? What kind of cookbook was this? Cooking had never been a scary event before. He swallowed hard and read on about the main course. Main course, roasted lamb. To make this dish, first one must select twelve singing stones off the main road entering the city of the sun. Use these to assemble the roasting pan. To heat the roasting pan, gather wood for burning from the tree whose branches reach to the farthest point west and to the farthest point east. Singing stones! A tree with branches that reach all the way west and all the way east? That would be eternity! What did the chef know of these? He knew only the insides of the kitchen. This recipe seemed more like a treasure map than cookbook. Adventuring was not his normal custom. But there was nothing for it. Anxiously, he packed two turkey sandwiches, three apples, an extra pair of walking shoes, and set off with the cookbook and a wagon trailing behind. He was determined to obtain every item. As he traveled, the chef made constant reference to the cookbook. The recipe continued. Go to the humble farmer of the valley. He will have a young daughter who will have a special seed. Accept this seed from her. Take from their barn some of the golden wheat. You will grind this along with the seed into flour and use to bread the meat. The farmer will also have a large shiny nail. You will need this to tenderize the meat. Take care so as not to break any of the bones. For the marinade, you will be offered vinegar, but you must refuse it. Instead, season with the salt from mother's tears. Finally, choose from the farmer the lamb without blemish, perfect in every way. The recipe was exact. The cookbook was demanding. Weeks passed. Many roads were taken. Some days the sun scorched the tops of his ears, yet still the chef traveled on. Some nights the rain soaked his jacket through and through, yet still the chef traveled on. Never had he followed such a curious recipe, but each ingredient had to be gathered precisely as written if he had any hope. Along the way, he also gathered ingredients for the many side dishes in the cookbook as well. Some side dishes needed to be washed in water from a living stream. Other dishes used bread made without yeast. After a long time, the chef returned to his kitchen. He had fulfilled all the requirements. Would it be enough? Was there still hope? 
he began the preparations. As he baked, boiled, and roasted, simmered, sautéed, and steamed, the aroma from his kitchen filled the air and floated out to the streets. The people walking by caught the whiff. What was that fragrance, such richness, such flavor? More and more followed the bouquet and came to Ollie's Olives. Let us come in, they called to the chef. He was ready. The tables were all set with his finest china. The linens were pressed and folded. Goblets sparkled with pure, fresh water. Flowers adorned every table. Come in, everyone. Come and partake of the most delicious meal you have ever tasted. There's enough food for all. The people didn't need to be asked twice. And eat they did. The succulent side dishes were out of this world, so tender and juicy. But the main dish, it was unlike anything anyone could have imagined. One bite of the lamb brought such a full satisfaction, all else just seemed gravy. His restaurant, Ollie's Olives, was saved. Every day the lamb was served. Every day was a happy feast. And it seemed every night the stars shone over the restaurant a little brighter than everywhere else. Taste for yourself and see that it is good. Visit memoirsofanolivetree.com. Enjoy the entire series, including easy-to-read explanations for children, lesson plans for teacher, parents, crafts, games, songs, and more.